Hello internet friends, I'm Sierra the Daring, back with another tutorial. I got an email this time that was fun from Marissa. Uh, she appreciated my Dumb Blonde cover, said there's not enough covers of Dumb Blonde out in the world, and I very much agree with that. Uh, and she asked if I could do a tutorial for it, so here it is. I'm sorry it took so long, life has been insane. Yeah, that's how that goes. All right, but thank you so much for the email. I really appreciate the feedback. I found this tab in Ultimate Guitar. It's super simple. There's only three chords in this song. It's a great beginner's uh, little, little honky-tonk jam. So here's a little tutorial on how to do Dumb Blonde by Dolly Parton Queen. So first we'll go over the chords in this song. Uh, just a note before I get into that. I did transpose this song. I believe it was in G, I believe it was in C originally, and I changed it to the key of F. So the chords in this song are F, B flat, AKA A sharp, and C. Super simple, three chords, really easy. And then this B flat is a good opportunity to work on your bar chords or just play it in the original key, whatever works for you. But I'm gonna play it in this key because it's just better for my voice. So for the strumming pattern, I seem to be using my go-to classic strumming pattern, which is down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down. Little variations of that throughout the song. When I play the bridge, I when I play the bridge, I change up my strumming just a little bit to emphasize things and all of that. Leave spaces in other places. Spaces in other places. Yes. The intro is really simple. It'll kind of just get you into the groove of the song, allow you to uh, get your flow going. So it's basically just C, uh, and then you'll just go to F, and that's where the song, and that's where the lyrics start. structure because I feel like the verse and the chorus are not separated like most songs are um, so it kind of looks like the song has just a verse bridge mix but there actually is kind of a chorus in the verse it's a it's a it's a little it's a little unique which I actually really like um, okay so now we are into the bridge so the bridge, I uh, my chords become a lot more staccato, short and fast. And it puts a little more emphasis on the uh, the bridge here. So let me go through that. When you left, you thought I'd sit, you thought I'd play, you thought I'd cry. You called me. that little walk up because you're going from B flat to C which is very there's only a step in between that chord so I just do a little walk up to B so B flat B and C isn't that amazing how these things are just so music is such such a pattern sport yeah so if you want to do the walk up I just like going uh, it's also a really good way to work on your bar chords this little walk up so you do the B flat down too but I think it gets a little excessive and it makes the little walk up not as special if you're doing the walk down every time you can clearly make different decisions if that's what you would like to do oh there's a little bird 
it's snowing and there's a bird just like not caring that it's night. So that's the bridge. And then we go back into our verse chorus. Blondes had more fun. repeat the bridge. We basically just repeat what we played again, so I'm not going to go through all of that again because we just went through that. I'm just going to show you how I end the song. You basically go back, you repeat the bridge, and then the verse chorus, and then we're going to go out. I think it's called a tag when you sing the last line twice. I could be wrong though. So I basically just sing the last line of the chorus twice, and then I do a little back and forth, and we'll talk about that as I'm playing through it. For my old school Just because I'm born Don't think I'm done Cause this dumb punk Ain't nobody's fault Just because I'm born Don't think I'm done Cause this dumb punk Ain't nobody's fault And so for that little outro kind of just basically repeat the intro by going to the C and then back to the F to end on our root note. So it's super simple. It's a great song. I hope you all do covers and then there's like a million dumb blonde deli parton covers on the internet. This song is great. It's so tongue in cheek and, and I really appreciate it. Yeah, she's playing off that dumb blonde trope. You can think I'm a dumb blonde, but underneath Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you don't like it. What else? Feel free to leave me a comment if you have any other requests. I've been horrible with my requests lately. I'm so sorry. A friend asked me to do this Stevie Nicks song like a year ago and I haven't done it because I wanted to make it special and then I just didn't do it, so that sucks. Um, <clears throat> but if you have a request, feel free to hit me up and I'll do my best. Life is crazy. I have less time to do music than I did before, so. But thank you so much. I appreciate you all for watching, and then as always, please subscribe because it totally helps my channel to grow. Appreciate it. Much love. Uh, super simple, so it's really easy to interpret in a lot of different ways. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> and then little, var little variations of that in between throughout, little variations of that throughout the song. When I play the bridge, I <sighs> Talking to the camera is weird, so fake it until you make it. What's up, friends? Hello, internet friends. <laughs> so awkward. I think. Marissa, her name is Marissa. What name is that? Learning was troublemaker. Uh, uh, goddamn heater? I think I'm just gonna keep talking because maybe it won't suck so much. I feel like I need to do the whole thing over again because of that goddamn heater. What's the heater? Okay. That heater is so annoying. So I probably would do it up and not down or not up and down. If you can follow all of that beautiful logic. Transitions are really fun. That's a tip I got from a musician, I think, at the Telluride Bluegrass Festival, who was like, you take your chord, so if you're D chord and you're going to a G chord, you can kind of walk up or walk down. Uh, D. Anyways, that's a bad example. Uh, but you can kind of throw these transitions in between chords to other chords, and that adds a little extra flavor to your song. The song has an interesting structure because there's not really technically a chorus. I mean, there is, but the 
the verse and the chorus are combined. You have the verse and then you have the chorus tagline on the end, and then you have the bridge of um, you flew, you know, of the when you left, you thought I'd sit and wait, you called me a dumb blonde. Uh, that I consider the bridge because it's different than the chorus and it leads you back into the, the bridge, the first chorus. Leads you back into the verse chorus.